morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much indeed for tuning in. Um, by a special request, I'm gonna do a quick review of my bike tin today, which I bought from Armadillo. I'll put all the details of the uh, website and the costs on the video, uh, but for now, let's quickly run through the main features of this bike storage unit. Okay, so first things first, there are some options for the front door of the tin. I've got two locks there you can see to the left. You can add more. And on the right hand side, there are five hinges. The more hinges you put on, the more locks, it's more secure, obviously. So I'll quickly show you now how the tin locks and unlocks. So for each padlock, we get a key like this. And it's pretty simple, one-handed, you can just put it in, turn, pull, the chamber comes out, and off it comes, really easy. And it's the same scenario for the one below. Key in, turn, pull and off you go. With regards to the handle that comes with the door, you do get a key to lock it, which looks something like this, or exactly like this in fact, but I don't ever lock it because it feels a little bit uh, unsecure, and I've got a feeling that if I use it all the time, that potentially it will stop working and then I've got a problem of getting the bike out. So I think the, uh, the bolts there and there are more than sufficient to keep the uh, door securely closed. So inside the tin, this is the longest one that they do, and I just about fit my R1250R through. Maybe a little bit of space. I have to put it all the way down to the end and then turn the handlebar to the left to maximize the amount of space I'm taking up that's there and available. As you can see, there's a couple of shelves. The metal shelves go in nice and easy, and I've managed to store my cases, a couple of helmets, some cleaning equipment, and the usual bits and pieces. I've got my shoes in here and also keep my jacket and trousers in here as well. So it's all nice and secure. The wooden floor is an extra and the, the shelves there are also an extra. Now to hang up my jacket, I've just used a normal hanger and without any modification, just bending the, uh, the metal part of the hanger slightly to, to make a flat edge to sit and the same on that side as well. Um, but there are plenty of opportunities here to uh, hang things and uh, actually on the inside here as well you've got some bolts which you can hang stuff on as well which i do sometimes with regards to the floor anchor that floor anchor is actually set into the brickwork beneath the tin uh, so it's nice and secure and that's uh, a very very strong base for securing the bike within the tin and then after i put that through the frame of the bike i also do put a disc lock on the front and back wheel so it's really really secure so if anybody wants to nick the bike they're really going to have to work for it basically um, but that's the inside of the tin i've been very impressed with it very very good it's zero maintenance no problems at all with the tin once i put it up easy peasy uh, and then just to the side here you can see there's air vents up there and if i take you around the back as well there is an air vent there as well on that side. Now Armadillo did put this together for me. You can put it together yourself, but I didn't even try to be honest with you. Look, there's my motorbike. We've been out for a ride this morning uh, for about an hour and uh, we had a lovely time down the lanes. On the bottom side of the door there, I use a door stop because the metal door, it will move in the wind. It's quite light. So I just got a door stop off of Amazon and I chuck that underneath and it just wedges in between the brickwork and keeps the door open and secure. That's pretty much it really guys. I mean, there's not much to it. It's a really excellent solution. If you haven't got a garage, it's very secure, but essentially as requested, this is a video about my motorbike tin. Uh, I hope you found it useful. And obviously if you've got any questions about this particular model or um, you want more information, then do get in touch and I'll try and help you as best I can. So. Thanks very much indeed for watching guys. That's pretty much it. Just a little short video to show you around my storage tin. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do leave me a comment below. For those of you who are new to the channel, please do have a look around and leave me a comment. Um, and uh, of course, if you would like to subscribe, please do so, it helps me an awful lot. So until next time guys, please do ride safe and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers now, thanks, take care, bye bye.